Welcome back, people. We are talking the French Revolution, uh, specifically this time after looking at two revolutions that were relatively successful in terms of how permanent the changes were. We're going to try to figure out why the changes of the French Revolution were less permanent. So again, the goal for the screencast is, at the end of the screencast, you need to be able to explain multiple reasons why the changes of the French Revolution were not permanent changes. And you'll prove to me that you have done this by showing me your notes, which can be in any form that you choose to put them in. Why are we doing this? Again, your project at the end of the unit is going to revolve around you giving advice to the Arab Spring, the new governments of the Arab Spring revolutionary countries. And so the more we can learn from our study of these old revolutions, the better advice we will be able to give these new, newly revolutionized countries. So in terms of the stickiness of the French Revolution, um, was it? There were some good changes. The tax structure, as well as the representation, was far fairer for the third estate. Public education existed in France for all people. And there were competent, trustworthy officials who were placed in public positions as opposed to people who like knew the king or knew the queen. However, the Napoleonic Codes took away rights from the French citizens that they gained in the Declaration of the Rights of Man. The Reign of Terror killed tons and tons of people with absolutely no justice. And finally, the revolution started with an absolute monarch and ended with a dictator. Is that really a step forward? Were their rights gained by the vast majority of the French citizens? Did they have better access to power than they had before? And I think particularly on that last point, the, the answer is clearly no. So why didn't the French Revolution stick? The retribution, the revenge that Robespierre was after in the reign of terror, um, just the chaos that continued long after the chaos of the revolution with just killing these people who were deemed traitors with essentially no trial. This inability of the, the folks who were leading France after the king was removed to use law and order and calm society, their decision to rule with terror um, was one reason why these changes didn't stick because Robespierre and his friends, they just were not democratic in the least bit. Also, there was a ton of fear in France, which didn't help the revolution to, to stay. Um, there was fear that there were counter-revolutionaries present in France that wanted to undo the revolution and bring back a king and a queen. There was also fear, there was also fear around a foreign invasion of France to try to put these monarchs back in power. So that fear also led to or made it far easier for Robespierre to just call out all these people as kind of revolutionaries and wanting to bring back the monarch and allowed him to execute so many of these people clearly without respect for the rule of law. So I just mentioned the rule of law. The inability of the French people, of the, of the leaders of France, to rule respecting the rule of law, to rule and allow people the rights that the revolution was supposed to be about, this didn't create trust in the rulers. It created fear of those rulers. It created this desire to get rid of traitors. All their propaganda really pushed the French people to a very heightened sense of fear. And this didn't allow the chaos after the revolution to calm down. It allowed just this, this climate of fear to continue in this retribution and massive amounts of needless death it continued as opposed to had they respected the rule of law, perhaps things in France would have calmed down. And finally, the French Revolution didn't stick because Robespierre and Napoleon concentrated the power in their hands. The common person in France didn't have access to more power than they had before the French Revolution under Louis the Sixteenth. So this is another reason why the French Revolution didn't stick is that the common people just didn't have more power. As always, check back, look at your goal. Um, if you can explain multiple reasons why the changes of the French Revolution were not permanent, you're good to go. If not, rewatch this, talk to a friend, talk to a neighbor, talk to me. Um, and again, your proof can be in any form of notes that you choose. Thanks for watching.